Edy and its smaller nearby islands lie at the heart of the North Isles of Orkney. These islands are surrounded by swiftly flowing tidal streams and a mixture of cliff, rocky and sandy shorelines. Charismatic marine mammals including otters and seals top the food chain on these islands. Otters are a treasured sight in Orkney. Though widely distributed across the islands of Orkney and Shetland, the Arcadian otters are much more elusive than their Shetland neighbours. For this reason, some of the amazing footage included in this film was recorded in Shetland. There are strong family ties between mother and her pups, or kits, while males are much more independent and wide-ranging. Otters are typically most active at dusk and dawn. However, on the coasts of the North Isles, they can also be seen out during the daytime, foraging and playing on the rocky shores. Here in the shallow waters of Fersness Bay on the west side of Edie, there is an abundance of the otters' favourite foods. Crabs are part of the otters' carnivorous diet. Their strong teeth and jaws make quick work of the crab's hard exoskeleton. Octopus are usually very adept at camouflage, but if caught in the open, they too can quickly become prey. Intelligence, speed and agility give the hungry otter an edge when it comes to catching fish in amongst the kelp forest. Examples of the fish species which could become prey include ballon wrasse and this eel-like ling. Heading northwest out of Fersness Bay, the seabed drops away to depths of up to 20 metres. Ahead lies the uninhabited home of Fairy, and across a narrow sound, the larger island of Fairy itself. The island once supported a community of eight families with their own school, but the last residents left this small island in 1947. Since then, there's been minimal human activity on Fairy and the home, just the farmers periodically checking their sheep and occasional visitors for recreation or scientific studies. The home of Fairy and part of Fairy are designated as a special area of conservation to support and protect an internationally important breeding colony of grey seals, or to give them their Orkney name, Selkies. This breeding colony is the second largest in the UK. Nearly 10% of the UK's grey seal pups are born here each year. In late autumn and early winter, these relatively undisturbed shores provide an ideal place for female grey seals to give birth and easy access to the sea for mothers and pups. Away from the shore, curious trails lead inland to freshwater pools. These trails are left by seals travelling to and from the pools during the breeding season. Other grey seal colonies in Orkney and elsewhere use similar areas to breed and to rear their pups. Seals are always aware of visitors and will escape to the sea if approached too closely. Grey seals are characterised by the Roman-nosed profile of their faces. Grey male seals, or bulls, can grow to over 3 metres in length and weigh over 250 kilograms. Underwater, seals are especially inquisitive when confronted with an interesting object, like a diver's camera. The kelp forests surrounding Fairy, the home of Fairy, and indeed most of the North Isles, provide ideal nursery habitat for the fish on which seals feed. Despite these local riches, data from tagged seals shows that the Orkney populations also forage over a wide area of the adjacent waters of the Atlantic and North Sea. Individual grey seals have been tracked as far away as English and Norwegian coasts. 
Observing marine mammals in places such as Aidy, Fairy and the home of Fairy can shed light on the intimate details of their habits and lifestyles, helping to build a deeper understanding of these charismatic species. Thank you.